It's time for Grip Tip presented by Golf Pride. We're inside. We want to get better. There are ways to get better. And one of the ways that you can get better is, as I told you before, PVC pipe. Well, now what I've got is I've got some PVC. I've got a swim noodle here. And what I'm working on is getting the club to come from the inside. So if we have a down the line view here, what you can see is, is that if I come in over the top this way, I'm going to hit this swim noodle. In fact, what it has done is I've set it up. So if the shaft, if my shaft touches that swim noodle, I'm going to hit a shank or I'm going to hit a poor shot. You could just see the ball at the very bottom of that. Now, here's what you need to understand. This little drill is great. I can do this without a golf ball. You simply set up here so that the head of the golf club is right underneath that swim noodle there. You can see that. And what I also have is the ability to let the club get under. You can see how the club is going to get under here without a problem. If I come over the top, now I'm going to hit it. But as I'm moving this along the ground, now I'm under there without any problem whatsoever. So this is something that I can do just swinging inside. You can see there's a little apprehension of, am I going to hit it? No, you won't. The other thing this drill is going to help you with is it's going to force you to take the club a little bit more around you in the backswing. If you're one of those people that likes to take the club outside, this is going to hit right away. So what this does is it forces the club to go around in the backswing. So I'm in here and then in there. Yeah, so let's hit one here. Make sure I've got that set up correctly. All right, now watch what happens to this shot. So you can see how that starts out to the right and has a little bit of draw to it. Greg, I'm gonna ask you if you would to play that shot again for us so we can get an idea of the shape of that shot. You see how it starts out to the right and it turns over to the left. Now when we look at the information of what's coming out, all of our data, here's what we see. We see an apex of about 77. We see the launch angle. Okay, pay attention to the horizontal launch and vertical launch, because this is important. So our vertical launch, 18.4. That means it's going up in the air a little bit more. Instead of it coming out at 17, it's going up in the air a little bit more. Why? Because the horizontal launch is 2.7 to the right, so it's along the ground. I've got a little bit more throwing it up into the air. And what ends up happening? I end up getting a side spin of almost 1,000 RPMs to the left. So when I start to take all this information, I know I'm getting a draw. That's going to give you some distance, some added distance, which you love. Now, let me show you what this is going to look like in your eye. So I'm going to bring a ball in here. Set that right there. And now I'm going to hit this again. Again, another really good shot. In fact, Greg, stay with that one. Gibbsy, stay with that one because that one's going in the basket. How about a little biscuit for the basket? All right, so now let me show you what this looks like. If I go straight line right here, you can see I'm going to hit that swim noodle right there. So now we take the club and we start to move it. And what I want you to see is where this club head is right there. There's the club. So my, my path to there is going to be straight line. It goes just slightly underneath that. And the shaft of the golf club is going to be moving in a parallel spot. It's not going to hit that swim noodle. So let me erase that. Go into there. And you can see as I go back and forth, you can see how the path of the club now moves very easily. And the other thing that you'll notice is the swim noodle doesn't move at all. So I got that club to travel underneath that swim noodle very, very successfully and very easily. So I'm controlling both my backswing and controlling my follow through with this. Now, what I love about this is this is something that you can practice with without a golf ball. All you need to do is just set this thing up like this. You're going to make swings and feel that club moving underneath there. And as you start to get comfortable with that, what you're going to find is your game's going to get better when you head out, when we can all head out, when we can all go and hit that golf ball out there, you're going to start hitting a draw. You're going to start hitting it farther. So you, your scores might not come down right away, but that's only because you don't know how far you're hitting your ball now. 
Now you might go, well, my seven iron used to go 150, but now it's going 165. Why is that? Because you did a little practice here in this time at home, and you got that club coming from the inside, had that nice high draw, which is what we're all hoping for. That's our grip tip presented by Golf Pride. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.